Hi there, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on TCM. Every Wednesday in October, we're featuring the films of our star of the month, Charlton Heston. One of the top leading men in Hollywood from the 1950s into the 70s, Heston has roughly 100 film credits, including voice work. His commanding voice and undeniable presence allowed him to take on many larger-than-life roles. I have played three presidents, three saints, and two geniuses, he once joked. If that doesn't create an ego problem, nothing does. We begin tonight with Heston delivering one of his finest performances as the great Italian artist Michelangelo in the 1965 classic The Agony and the Ecstasy. The script is based on an exhaustively researched biographical novel by Irving Stone published in 1961. The book became a bestseller and Hollywood quickly made offers to turn it into a major motion picture with Fox securing the rights. While Stone's book covered Michelangelo's entire life, this big screen adaptation focuses only on a four-year period when Pope Julius II commissioned the artist to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. As you'll learn over the next couple of hours, Michelangelo didn't really want the job. Turns out painting wasn't his first love. He just wanted to play video games. I'm sorry, I misread that. He preferred sculpting. Sculpting makes more sense. Since the request came from the Pope himself, Michelangelo was soon up on a scaffold, lying on his back, painting the ceiling. The story intrigued Heston before any studio even signed on to produce. He found Michelangelo an elusive character. To prepare, Heston not only learned how to sculpt and paint, he climbed the scaffold to view the famous ceiling up close and examine what might have inspired Michelangelo's perfectionism. Filmmakers were not allowed to shoot in the Sistine Chapel, so director Carol Reed had a scale replica of the chapel built at Cinecita Studios in Rome. The replica ended up being the largest indoor set ever created for a movie at the time. Here it is from 1965, also with Diane Salento and Rex Harrison as Pope Julius II, Charlton Heston as Michelangelo in The Agony and the Ecstasy. Known for playing historical figures on the screen, Charlton Heston was particularly sensitive about his physical portrayal of Michelangelo in The Agony and the Ecstasy. He felt he'd been scolded in the past by some critics for looking the same in all his films. For this one, Heston took his commitment to artistic integrity to another level. In addition to making sure his makeup was accurately based on portraits of Michelangelo, Heston inserted narrow clay piping inside his nose to make it more closely resemble Michelangelo's, which had been broken. Heston broke his nose playing football in high school, leaving it crooked, but he didn't feel it was crooked enough to physically capture Michelangelo. Coming up, Heston returns as another historical figure, reprising his stage role as Sir Thomas More. From 1988, Heston directs and stars in a television adaptation of the biographical drama Man for All Seasons. It is next on TCM.